Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild with Lady Legend. In today's video, we're gonna head out to Parque Fernando and we're gonna focus on the mule deer. So if you're wondering where are the best spots to hunt mule deer, this video is for you. Stick around. But before we get into that, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button, press that like button, and make sure to hit notify so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I wanna thank you so much for being here today. So to start our video off, we have head out to what I would consider the very best lake for mule deer in Parque Fernando. And I do have two different maps outlining the best drink zones in my opinion and also the best rest zones. So that will be included in this video so that you know exactly where to go. So there are mule deer around just about every spot around this lake. You're gonna find them at <laughs> all four corners, basically. This is the best spot to head to. Especially down in this corner, there's almost always a pretty decent sized mule deer down there. Now I just wanna take a second and I wanna say congratulations to Carpal Opter, who shot this absolutely gorgeous max weight black buck. Now, if you guys would like to share your favorite captures of your best diamonds and rares, I would love to see them. Please post them to my Facebook page here at Lady Legend XO Gaming. And I will feature one, depending on how many I get, in most videos. I'd love to honor you guys that way. That would be super fun. And see what you got. And hopefully that will motivate you to get out there and find some uh, awesome trophies. So down here at the end, that's a pretty decent size level four mule deer, not max trophy, but that one's max trophy rating. It's not gonna be a diamond, but he's a pretty nice one, especially if it's your own map, because you gotta think respawns. When you kill an animal on your own map, it's going to respawn generally in the same weight class, either a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. And we're hoping for a little bit bigger with this guy because he's already pretty decent. So I'm going to mark my waypoint so I know exactly how far away he is from me so I can set my metering appropriately. Using the M1, going for a heart shot. And if you have the recoil skiller perk, that's one that's really going to help you out with getting a second animal before it spooks. Because your gun isn't going to shoot so far up in the air after you take your shot and you can line up a second shot because it's always a second or two before the other deer or animals around what you've shot at are going to spook and you can often get two down. Now with the second muley I managed a shot on him before he took off but it wasn't a vital so I managed a second shot. You always have two chances to take your animal in a vital so we have a beautiful blonde mule deer gold 431.7 trophy that's a pretty decent size one and we managed a heart shot double lung and heart and we got him from 112.15 meters and we're gonna go pick up our second one and there's our vital blood splatter that's what you want <laughs> that is the uh the sign you are looking for and our first shot wasn't too great, got him in the jaw, but we always have that opportunity to take a second shot. And I managed to get him, uh, let's see, in double lung on the second shot. So that was pretty decent. And he's 357.5 trophy, and he weighs 171.27. So he's a little bit smaller than the other guy, but still a nice mule deer. And then I decided to head over to Acorn Lake, which is another one of my favorite mule deer spots. And you know me, I'm always scouting out the ducks everywhere that I go. And I managed to find a level 3 duck. So I thought, hey, <laughs> anytime I see a diamond, it has to die. <laughs> That's just my philosophy. So I was like, cool, works for me. So we're going to use the 22 rifle. I'm going to make sure that I'm exactly 50, 100, or 150 meters away from the duck that I'm going to shoot so that my zeroing is perfect. It matters so much when you're shooting at a duck because it is so small that you can't afford to be off at all. So I always check and double check and re-mark my waypoint so that I get the perfect shot on that duck. And you see, I was able to get them just with one shot. And that's what you want to do because if you have to take two shots, often they will spook and be gone 
after the first. And then you're trying to shoot them through the air and that's when it gets tougher. So we have a beautiful diamond cinnamon teal, level three, and it has a trophy of 4.6. So if it were any smaller at all, it wouldn't have made diamond, but it made it right on the money. So right when I get to the lake, that's what I call Acorn Lake. It's uh, to the right, about halfway down the map. And it is an amazing lake. It's got mule deer, ducks, uh, really, really good for water buffalo. It's, I would consider it a hot spot for water buffalo. And I have seen two different diamond mule deer shot off of this lake. And both were at the very, very tip, the very top of the lake. But uh, with recent updates, need zones have been moving around, so <laughs> they can be found anywhere. And we managed a vital shot on that guy. You'll notice that I waited until he was in his uh, upper position in his animation before I took the shot. And we have a really nice gold, 449.4. That's a pretty nice one. Managed uh, lung and liver shot from 165.86 meters. And I'm just on a random multiplayer here. So what I'm doing here is I'm running up the side of the lake because I want to show you exactly where you can find mule deer around here. And at the very tip, you'll notice that they're really hard to spot up there. See, they're way up there. They're often hidden by trees. And that's where I saw a couple different diamonds shot. So here we have a location map for you. These are my favorite muley drink zones. And mule deer drink from nine a.m. to noon or 12.30, and again from 9 p.m. till midnight, which is not my favorite time to hunt them because they are so hard to see in the dark, and I find parquet very, very foggy in the evening. But Mule Deer Lake, what I would consider to be the lake in the circle, that is your number one spot to hit for Mule Deer. You're going to find them at all four corners of the lake. They're going to be all over. Now, all of the yellow starred spot, those are your hot spots, and those are spots that I have seen diamonds shot at uh, multiple times at these spots. The orange stars, you're going to find mule deer at just about every lake on the map. And uh, doesn't mean that diamonds are just going to be found at the yellow zones. Those are just the spots that I would hit first. So here's my challenge to you. Head out to Parquet and find yourself a diamond mule deer and post it on my Facebook page. I want to see them. So moving on, here we have Probably my favorite mule deer rest zone. And I always head out here before 9 a.m. Because at 9 a.m. they're going to head to their drink zones. And when you do, you're going to find all kinds of mule deer up here. So you just start at that outpost and head north. And it's right where the hunting structure is. And what I do is I run all the way there. I stop at around 190 meters. And then I start to creep in. And... My good bud SRH Forever, he shot a diamond here not too long ago, and I shot a level five troll. How, how come it's me who always gets trolled? <laughs> Actually, it's not, he gets trolled quite a bit. And we have a pretty nice one here, not too bad, level four. Now he's kind of hidden by the rocks, so I gotta be very careful that I managed to get his body, which not a lot of it is exposed, and not the rocks. That looks pretty good. And we managed a vital. And he's actually in the uh, max trophy estimate, so he's a good one to kill for respawns. And he has a trophy rating of 423. It's a nice gray one, and he weighs 182.29 kilograms. And we managed a lung, liver, stomach shot. And this is my other favorite rest zone spot, and this spot is the spot where I shot my very first diamond mule deer. And I actually saw that someone else had got one here, so I decided to head out here and I found it the very first time I headed out there. Now I've probably been up there a bunch more times, like probably another 20 times or more, and I have not found another one, but I guess that's what they call beginner's luck. <laughs> but you're always gonna find a whole pile of mule deer up here. And it's where there's uh, a hunting structure is the spot. I have it marked on the map in just a sec, you'll see that. 
but this is an amazing spot for sure. And again, you want to head up here before 9 a.m. And here we have a really nice gold, 379.3. He weighs 172.58, and we managed a double lung liver shot. And we're using the uh, M1, which I am really enjoying using. It is a really fun gun to use. Looks, uh, yeah, looks good. We got a vial there. Level three. When they're fleeing, then I'll just start taking some shots. It's always great to practice shooting on animals that are on the trot or fleeing. Because you never know when you're going to have to make that shot. And the only way to get better is to practice. And not every, you know, fleeing shot I get is perfect. I miss shots, but that's how I get better. So... And he stopped and gave me an opportunity to get a shot into him, and we managed to vital on him. And he's not a bad one. See, with diamond mule deer, they're just so gorgeous. They're just one of those animals that you look at and you know it's a diamond or you know it's not. And not a lot of animals are like that, that you can actually tell from looking at them whether they're going to make diamond. But I find that mule deer are one of those. And true rack for mule deer are coming out on August 11th, with the console release of the Rocky Mountains map, and I am super excited for that. So we definitely need to head out there and get ourselves a legacy diamond mule deer. Because as of August 11th, they will be no more. So we have a really nice gold, 361.3 trophy. He weighs 170.03, and we managed a single lung liver shot. So these are my favorite muley rest zones. The two stars at the top, those are the two spots that I showed you. So the very top spot is the rest zone where you head straight north from the outpost. These zones you always want to hit before 9 a.m., like from 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. And the second star from the top is the spot where I shot my very first diamond mule deer. That spot was featured in the video. And then we have a couple different spots. I call that lake in the middle there. We call that California Lake. There's always mule deer around that lake. And here's a capture of one of my more recent diamond mule deer. And he's a beauty, 439.4. He's a blonde. He weighs 207.47 and managed him with a heart shot. <laughs> that obviously was uh, a little while ago as my tag was still Lady Hunter XO. But uh, yeah, I don't find them that often. So they are a big accomplishment. But I want to thank you all for being here today. Thank you so much for joining us. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon. You take care.